Greetings to you all. Peace be upon you. Peace be upon you. It's good to be here. It's good to be here. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I have been praying like I always do. Like the Bible says, men always ought to pray. And I've been asking the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, why is it so many people are not successful? The simple and clear answer, the Spirit of God say to me is this. People, they lack consistency. People, they lack consistency. Hallelujah. Before we go to the word consistency, I want us to read Lamentations 3, verse 22. The Bible says, Because of the Lord's gracious love, we are not consumed. Since his compassions never end, they are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Mark verse 23. He says, They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. So, new every morning. That's consistency I'm talking about. They are new every morning. That's why his compassion never ceases to amaze. Because they are new every morning. I think you got something already. So, the Spirit of God said, Consistency is the key. It doesn't matter what you want to achieve in life. There are different goals. There are different things you, as a person, you might want to achieve. But listen to this. If you learn to be consistent and they take small necessary steps towards that which you want to achieve, definitely you will achieve it. The Bible says, I mean the Spirit of God says, one of the things which the devil came here to do is to confuse the words, is to mix them. Many people, they are faithful in prayer. They are faithful maybe in giving, faithful in certain other areas, but they lack consistency. I'm here to tell you, child of God, learn to be consistent first. Build everything from the consistency. Then you will be surprised how you will achieve whatever you achieve. If your faithfulness is not best in the consistency, there is a chance that tomorrow you are not going to be faithful. If your discipline or your giving or whatever you do in life, your prayer life is not based on the consistency, there is a chance that it will fail and not produce results. Maybe that's what you have been experiencing. You have been praying a lot. You have been fasting, maybe. You've been, you did this and this, but nothing seems like to happen. The Spirit of God is saying to you now, learn to be consistent till you get what you want. Learn to be consistency. L listen to this. The Bible says in Psalm 23, verse 6, David himself said, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. He said, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life as I dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Listen to this. As a child of God, miracles they have to follow you. As a child of God, abundance has to follow you. As a child of God, anything you desire, it just has to follow you. The Bible says Jesus Christ was made poor so that he would be rich. So the reason why you are not achieving what you are supposed to, to achieve, you are not shining as you are supposed to shine because you are the light of the world, is because maybe you have been lacking consistency somewhere, somehow. Hallelujah. The gracious love of God, they never cease to amaze. They are new every morning. Every morning they are new. Listen to this. When you are consistent in anything, you become trusted. You become trusted. There will be many things which will depend on you. Ah, today is Monday. Yes, it's Monday. Next, next week, we are going to have another Monday going to have another Monday, another Monday. It's still repeating, repeating, repeating. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. This is the consistency I'm talking about. Look at even the days of the week. Now we are planning things from the days, from the date, from the time. Because these things 
are consistent. Hallelujah. God plans his things from the consistency. He's a God of order. Consistence brings order in your life. Consistence brings uh, discipline. Consistence brings integrity. Consistence brings faithfulness. If all those things they best from the consistency, you will be a genuine person. You will be that person who speaks things forth and they will just come to pass. The Bible says you shall decree a thing and it will come to pass. Maybe why your words are not really producing things is because you yourself, you are not consistent. So even your words are not that, that powerful because they are not consistent. Hallelujah. Listen to this. Child of God, learn to be consistent. Learn to be consistent. Whatever you desire, whatever you want to see happening in your life, if you promise yourself, you look at your life, you say, this year I want to change my finances. Ah, every month I want to budget 100 or 200, like I said in the last video. Consistent on that. Be consistent. Be dis disciplined. Hallelujah. You'll see at the end of the year. You'll be laughing and say, wow, this consistent pay. Hallelujah. Whatever side of life you want to change, if you are consistent, the next thing which will happen is discipline. From consistency, you'll be disciplined. Discipline, you'll be stable. Ah, you'll be unmovable. You will be unmovable. Now, when you are stable from the consistency, faithfulness will just come. And then when you are now faithful, ah, listen to this, you will be so obedient even to, to the voice of God. When God speaks to you, you will hear because you are now stable. That is why Jesus Christ said, I will give you peace which surpasses all understanding. You will never have peace if you are not stable. And you will never be stable if you are not disciplined. And you will never be disciplined if you are not consistent. <laughs> you see the order of the words now. Not to confuse you, the easiest thing, the pivot, the foundation, let it be consistent. Once you say you will do something, be consistent in it. All these things shall be added unto you. Like David says, he says, goodness and mercy, goodness and mercy shall follow me. I, goodness and mercy shall follow me. As I dwell in the house of the Lord. So the consistency of David here is what? Is dwelling in the house of the Lord. That is why goodness and mercy, they are now following him. Ah, Kelebosa. Be consistent and you will see. You'll be a smiling one. You'll be a life giver. You'll indeed be the light of the world. When they look at you, they see the glory of the Lord. They will see the manifested, fulfilled dreams in you. Indeed, you will produce fruits, everlasting fruits. For it says in John 15, that I am the vine, Jesus Christ. Huh? I am the vine. Whoever clings, whoever clings in me, whoever does as I do, he will produce fruits, everlasting fruits. Those who don't produce fruits in the kingdom of God, the Bible says they will be cut and thrown into fire. Like a useless uh, uh, branch. Do not accept to be a useless branch. Mm -mm. As a child of God, you are given everything to produce. You just have to know the formulas. You just have to know the sequence of words. Now uh, the Spirit of God has just gave you the secret. Be consistent and you will start producing fruits. And as you are producing those fruits, you begin to give life. Everywhere you go, you'll be indeed a disciple of Christ. You represent the kingdom of God. I, you have everything. Do not sleep. Do not sleep. But wake up. Be consistent. And produce fruits, everlasting fruits. I love you with the love of God. May God bless you. May the Spirit of God minister to you in depth. And reveal to you more and more of this word, consistent, so that you will be indeed a shining star, undefeated. God bless you. See you next time. Bye.